Welcome to Science 360, the truth behind 2012. I'm Casey from Moorhead Planetarium and Science Center. In this series of videos, we're investigating 2012 end of the world claims and separating fact from fiction. The asteroid strike claim takes a popular Hollywood disaster idea and predicts its occurrence for December 21st, 2012. Let's see what this claim is suggesting. On December 21st, 2012, Earth will be struck by an asteroid that will cause mass extinction. Earth has been hit by asteroids before. In fact, most scientists agree that it was a large asteroid that wiped out the dinosaurs millions of years ago. So why not in 2012? Astronomers agree that it's not so much a question of if Earth will be hit by an asteroid again, but when it will happen. Timing is critical, because if we know years in advance that an asteroid is headed for us, we could potentially change its course by giving it a nudge in the opposite direction. On Earth, moving objects are constantly subjected to frictional forces, which oppose their motion. Air resistance is one of the major types of friction. As objects move through Earth's atmosphere, air particles push against them, slowing the object down. In space, there is no air, and therefore no air resistance to cause friction. This means that an object that is moving through space will keep moving in a straight line and at a constant speed until it runs into something or until gravity from another object changes its path. This also means that once the motion of a space object is changed, it is changed for good. And since there's no friction working against us, even a gentle nudge would be enough to change the course of a space object. So, in the case of an asteroid approaching Earth, if we gave it a push a few years in advance, it should pass us harmlessly by the time it reaches our orbit. Of course, the size of the necessary push would depend on the size and speed of the asteroid and its distance from Earth. In fact, NASA has already proven that it can accurately predict the motion of asteroids and comets and has carried out missions to land on or impact them. The NEAR mission orbited and landed on the asteroid Eros, and the deep impact mission that you see on the screen successfully impacted the comet Temple 1. So if we know about approaching asteroids or comets far enough in advance, we would have a good shot of stopping them from reaching us. Because of this, many groups around the world are surveying the sky to find asteroids or comets that may one day pass close to Earth. When a new object is found, scientists use computers to model its path and discover if it will ever pass nearby to Earth. These sky surveys have not found any large asteroids or comets that will threaten Earth in the foreseeable future. Thanks for watching this segment of Science 360, the truth behind 2012. For information about more 2012 claims, be sure to check out the rest of the videos in this series.